Hey, what's up, you guys? My name is Darius Up Zero. Welcome back to a game that I'm playing that's new to me. It's called Hogwarts Legacy. Uh, it had more of a title on there too. Port Port Key Games, I think. I don't know. Nah. But yeah, that is the game I'm playing. Uh, to give me a moment while I do all this real quick. Uh, so yeah. Alrighty. So I don't know if this game is um. Well, that's weird. But yeah, I don't know if this game is gonna be about because I only seen the first Harry Potter then I remember like a little bit of the second and a little bit of third and fourth and so on so it's like it's a bit of a blur but as I play the game it's it'll some memories will come back depending on what the, the big deal about this or what's the storyline of this so yeah um, so yeah <laughs> I haven't seen Harry Potter in a while. It's been a couple of years. We are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted to Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry at a fifth year student term of, on first semester. Primarily supplies have been collected for you and company for your journey. Oh yeah, I created an account on this too, so I did all that. All this uh, whatever on my phone. Uh, so yeah, I don't know what the, the whole deal is. I thought I could um, try to sign in, but it's more complicated, so I don't know how to do that. <laughs> so I just uh, skipped sign in, so it's a bit of a disappointment. I tried it with uh, my PC, and that didn't work for some reason as well, so, so yeah, it's confusing. Primarily, supplies have been collected for you and your company on your journey to the castle. As you may be aware, the decree for the reasonable restriction of underage sorcery prohibits the use of magic for those under the age of 17 outside of school however due to your unique circumstances the ministry has gracefully agreed to have professional Ezar fix to help you hone your spell casting before escorting you from London to the castle from the start to the terms of feast and sword and ceremony are sincerely Mr. Weasley or M. Weasley. I said Mr. but I don't see no R by the M. So just M. Weasley. We Weasley. Sorry. Oh, Professor Weasley. Deputy Head Mistress. Oh. So I hope this. Me, Creighton's character of mine, then, is, um... I hope it doesn't affect the character that I just made on my other account. You know? The one I made on my phone was, like, similar like this. But it didn't have a lot of pictures like this. Um... See, I'll go with this guy. There we go. What's this one? Oh. Face? So it's the, the face structure, right? Am I, is that what I'm looking at? Oh yeah, it is. It's a little hard to see. Because uh, I'm looking at a little picture here. I think I'll stick with this one. Skin tone, his skin tone, uh, just fine. He's brown. Whoa. Whoa. All right. <laughs> Dude, that's, there's not many glasses, is there? Uh, that's pretty lame. As for a hairstylist. Dude, they got corn rolls. I remember getting corn rolls when I was a kid. It was pretty cool. God, where? I wonder if they had the same one as I. As um, the one I've created on my. Was it Warner Bros. account with the uh, this game? I signed up in everything and tried to do it in the best I can on that one. Wow. Uh, 
If only you can just kind of like shorten the, the edges around and just keep the long, the top hair long, you know. It's kind of what I'm looking for. Oh, those are kind of cornrows. Man. The ones I got were like tiny and they were like braided. I think like, I don't know. All I know is that they were braided pretty tiny for me. <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> so dude. <laughs> oh my gosh. What the heck? That's funny. Ah man. Buy out the see. No, no, where was that previous haircut of mine? I think I might stick with this one. Boy, I'm a guy on this, right? Yeah, okay. I had to make sure. Because uh, I didn't see anything like, you know, pick male or female kind of thing. Scars? Oh. I got a scar on my lip. Can I put that on there? Uh, it's not a lot. I got a scar here. I have a scar up here. But I can't, just not a lot of choices. Um, how does my nose look? Oh, you can't even see it. Yeah, I could do that. Freckles. Whoop. Where's the freckles? Oh, can't quite see them all though. Yeah, no freckles. Complexion? Um, sure, keep it like that. Eye color, what? Yeah, I'll leave it the way it is in there. As for eyebrows. I think my eyebrows are looking pretty fine. Nothing wrong with them. Voice tone. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. Damn, the Adam's apple dropped, huh? Yeah. That was quite something. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. Damn, his voice is creating the base of my my headphones. That was quite something. <laughs> I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. What was that what they say? Something about cops whips? It was wonderful. Set your difficulty? Oh, it's a game. I like hard. I try to play more of my games hard. Uh name your character. I'm thinking about giving him my name, but I think that's too much. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna name him <laughs> Duncan Donuts, man. That's his name. Dormitory. The choices will determine your player or your player's uh, character. Dormitory. If I'm a witch, what does that mean? Oh, I think this is like good and evil. So, yeah, we got everything we got in. Mm, so, yeah, let's go ahead and start. Ah, it appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me before the term begins. Oh, <laughs> Eleazar! George! 
glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theatergoers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Mm -hmm. Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea! As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I'd been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. Is that my own little parrot? Did the game glitch? Oh, okay, good. Yeah, I thought I was gonna be dealing with the uh, weird glitches. That was someone. But don't worry, I tend to have an eye for these things, so... Oh yeah, I don't know if the game's gonna be louder than, than it is. The game might be louder than my voice. I don't know. I'm gonna turn my headset open so I can be a little louder too. Traveling companion. A new student. Oh you? man. That yes, so good if they said my starting name. school as a fifth year. How extraordinary. It is indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. Nor have I. Of course, as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> have you seen this? Oh, I forgot their paper uh, move. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And Should I say something? It was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Merlin's beard. How did you wait? We did. Did. <laughs> oh my god. My bird. Okay, that guy teleported out of here. Man, <laughs> just leave the leave the animals. Wow, 
that was amazing. I don't know if you guys were able to hear me. Um, so yeah. Are you alright? You're hurt. From what? That's a bit. Take this. It's Wigan World Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. How how did I take damage from falling? I mean, I don't hit anything. Stuff on my what back happened? pocket. Poor George. I can't believe he. What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage mid-air? A typical dragon would never... Professor? <sighs> Sir, where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. I'm feeling better, sir, if you'd like to look around a bit. I would, but stay close. We've no idea who created this port key, or why. Huh, okay. Can I jump? <laughs> so yeah, I can't do anything. Except raise, raise my uh, wand up. As for my parrot, I don't know what happened to my parrot. Guess everything just default until we process through the game. How far did that port key take us? Farther from London than the carriage traveled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. Sir, those ruins. Do you think- The port key was meant to lead us there. I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that poor key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right, and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. All right, so I'm curious Not about these. Step. I'm curious about these pots. They look breakable. <laughs> Professor Wiggs and I travel to Porky to report cliffside in the Scottish Highland. We need to explore the mysterious ruins that we suspect that the key was meant to lead us. Can I punch? Carry my wand with me you like this. Where suppose your wife got the poor key that brought us here? A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long forgotten form of ancient magic. Ancient magic? Yes. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. Hogwarts Castle was built by, and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, there's the path down below. This way. Huh, okay. So yeah, I'm hoping you guys can hear me. But so, uh, why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. One who wields it. Damn, alright. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. 
someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus right. on the center. Wow. Excellent. Use. Select an active target. Okay. Oh, I got a hold button. Whoa, man. Ooh. Oh, man, my new jacket. That was a bit rougher than I'd expected. Your one works improving with every cast. Thank you, sir. Wow. Watch out. I might hit you. <laughs> I might hit you. Oh boy. Oh wait up. You know what? Ah, up there. Wait up. My apologies. Wait, I gotta do something really fast. So just kind of wait up real quick while I go and do something real fast. Alrighty, so I'm back. Uh, hope everything is looking great. Okay. Alright, I just have to check on the settings. It turns out um, subtitles wasn't on even though I turned it on, which is weird. I'll run over here real quick, see what's up. <gasps> Search chest. 49 bucks. Dang, dude. That's pretty cool. Get to use my wand. We're close now. It's just ahead. Steady yourself. Really? <laughs> Repairo. <laughs> Repairo. Those were the simple names. Not just repair. We gotta find an O at the end. Get those birds. No, I'm gonna try to get one of them. Oh, looks like I'm getting one. Come on, I'm up there. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, it looks like I did hit him, but he's not going down. It's a shame. Hey, is there a chest over here as well? 49 bucks. Right around the corner. There, 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 there. Something. The weird little guy. Hey, chest. Whoa, 65. My, my guy really jumped. He's like, yippee. 65 bucks. So I'm doing a weird glitch dance. Professor, uh, fix. Why would someone have built this here? I suspect they valued their privacy. That portkey led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. This seems out of place. What is this? Uh, minimap shows your surroundings with you with the purple in the middle. This indicator is your current objective. Press and hold. Ah. 
Okay, now I can finally move freely. Wow, I can even jump higher too. Made. I forgot what I was gonna say. I was gonna say something, but then I forgot. That enchanted crystallized stone again. But what could it be blocking? No idea. What's this? Professor Fig! Uh, I think I found something. Professor? Wait up, let me run back over here quick. What the heck is this? Professor, it's a mural of some kind. Hmm. Perhaps our host was a noted seer. Interesting. Hmm. Seems like there were statues here before, but they got destroyed. Can we use our repairo to... Professor. This statue. This may have been his home. Yeah. Oh my gosh, almost ran right into the cliff. How wow. odd. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again, like the glow on the port key container. Hmm, wait, let me look around. See what's up. So what's going on here? Am I like seeing the future? Name? <laughs> Godric's heart. What in Gandalf's Where are name? We? I don't believe it. Hey, it's this guy. Where he was in one of the movies. Probably, I think, part five or part five, of, or not, not part five. Probably like disc five of Harry Potter or something. Hello? He's that elf looking dude. The guy with the giant long ears and uh, I don't remember his name. Oh no, it's a different guy. It can't be. Uh, just a moment. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Welcome to Gringotts Wizarding Bank. What a bank account? Vault number 12, I presume. <laughs> Precisely. The key? Mm -hmm. Your wife's port key. Oh, yes, of course. This way, then. Stay close. <whistles> After you. And keep your hands inside the cart. If you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> Where's the seatbelts? Where's the seatbelts on this? This is mad. How many volts are there in Hundreds. 
In fact, oh, 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 we'll that's see quite weird. a few on our way to vault number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vaults you see now are the newest. Are private entrances to the bank common at Gringotts? They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. You'll want to take a breath. A what? That waterfall washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Wow. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. This is pretty amazing. Oh, I'm not, apparently my camera's not focused on. Okay. Using this big old man hand. Vault number. Vault 12. Momentous day. <laughs> hmm. On your way. Seems in a rush. What's going on with time? Professor, hmm? the armband that guard was wearing was glowing. Like the glow you saw on the porky container. No, darker. I saw that same glow on the dragon's collar. Yeah, what was that? We were just wondering about that goblin back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. So my eyes are seeing dark glows and blue glows on random are. people. Only that I could see. And I'm guessing the guy with the... Was it Dark Glow, he said? When was uh, the last time this vault was accessed? A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12. Until today. Ooh. Oh, no. Open a chest. Thank you for your help. Yes, okay. Ooh, forty eight bucks, man. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir. I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait. The what? Best of luck. <sighs> Professor? That was certainly unexpected. Let me think. There must be something here. Hmm. Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. Wait, what? So tell me X? Triangle X? Let's see. Steady your wand with L's with L. Guide it along the symbols. Path to learn the spell. Press the corresponding inputs with the prompt to accelerate your wand's motions. Ah. Okay. Revelio. There, I saw something. Move a bit closer and try again. Okay. Let's move pretty close, like this. Uh... A door. Ah. Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to 
I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw on the port key container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. Okay. Step aside, old man. Let me do this. Lumos! This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. Hmm. Weird. <laughs> okay, I gotta remember that uh, down deep pad. I see something up hit. ahead. What is it? That glow again, but on the floor. When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue? What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Do you Rebellion. see it all, man? I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. Correct. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait. When you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. Okay. So what deep pad is this one? You acquire the one lightning charm luminous, which has automatically slotted into your uh, spell set. Luminous creates a light that typically you want to help you see in the dark areas. Okay. So watch me the holder T. Luminous. Well done. Ah. Now the reflection is turning towards me. It does follow the light. Hmm, okay, so I gotta go forward to his face. Professor Fig! Professor, where are you? This isn't good. Where am I supposed to go? What's I happening? Can't... The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. Yeah. That's what it is? Wisps of magic. Ah, that 
That's where they're leading me. That glow again. I pressed it immediately before, so I'm gonna look at it for a little bit. Oh, that's so weird. Lumos. Uh. Let's see. Revelio. I suppose I'm on my own this time. Lumos. Oh. Can I get interact with that chest? From what I've known, I I gotta carry my little light when I'm around here, just so I don't get lost. Just like what the old man told me. All right. I need to align these statues with their reflections. It seems I have no choice. I'm going to have to fight my way out of here. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh no. Oh, there we go. Oh. Oh, come on. I pressed triangle. Dang. Got bound, bound, bound. Dang, I like how he just used his wand, you know, he like, and then he takes a sip of, of his, uh, of his juice. Okay, what is this? Hold. Oh, Protego, the stun enemies. But they counter attack. Oh, nice. Takes extra damage. Alright. Oh, gosh. Oh, I pressed it. Ooh, there we go. Come on. Ooh, there we go. Oh my gosh. I'm getting cornered. Ooh. Oh, come on, dude. Oh, man. Oh, there we go. Oh my gosh, dude. Alright. Thank you, game, for telling me. going. Let me do a 360 around here real quick. Uh oh. I don't know what that was all about. Weird. It's a little bit like a uh, Lord of the Rings thing, you know, the, that weird thing that creates light. Uh, there you are. How did you? What is this place? I don't know, but I found this floating above that basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive. For viewing memories. I wonder.
Follow my lead. in place. The port key is well hidden. Perhaps too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. <clears throat> yes. And if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. Oh, he shared his memories. That's what with you're us. seeing. The glow. That surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We will... It all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in there. Oh, oh we can just kick them around, man. Nah. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. <coughs> uh, sir, they had the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I Oof. I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have them. Oh. Save up. Oh, no. I have no patience for traitors. Now, where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. Oh man, this guy has the upper hand. Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It 
it seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both, wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Wow. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. Yeah, we're extremely late for that. This is amazing. My parrot! So this uh, tutorial of the game and also the story was like a 40 minute, nearly, no, it was like uh, 50 actually. <laughs> so, an hour of a tutorial on this. Oh, good. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. Goody. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Okay. Ready for the sorting ceremony? Indeed. Ooh, it's a talking hat. Don't want to tells you about your future Phineas Nigellus Black Prepare yourself to meet the headmaster Fig nice of you to join us The sorting ceremony is over there were... complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig. And I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. Hey, good news is I didn't die in the tutorial, which is awesome. Hey, the flan uh, floating candles. Professor Weasley, uh, we've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. Oh, man, dialogue? I'm looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Hmm. Indeed. Indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit, but your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Hmm. I wonder... Hmm. I detect something in you. A certain sense of... Hmm. What is it? Uh, daring, curiosity, loyalty. Hmm. 
I should say loyalty. A sense of loyalty? I believe myself to be a true friend. I know I value that trait in others. Hmm. You do not give up easily, do you? You are undaunted by challenges that lie ahead. And your loyalty to a friend delayed your arrival here this evening. Perhaps you belong in Hufflepuff. What the heck is a Hufflepuff? Last time I did this, I was, or I did like a weird test on my, uh, what was it, Warner Bros. Uh, account thing with the Harry Potter game. And it told me I was a Ravenclaw. What is this? <laughs> I was supposed to be a Ravenclaw, not a Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff? The sorting hat has taken choices into your account when sorting your into your house. Known as for the patience, loyalty, and hard work. Yeah. Choose a different house. A different house? I think, uh... I like Ravenclaw. Can I go with Ravenclaw? Yeah. No, Raven... Oh, okay. My eyes didn't see that. <laughs> Yeah, Ravenclaw. And you've already mined. Quick to learn. Yeah, there we go. Ravenclaw House, known for intelligence, creativity, and wit. The sort has makes an entrance. You belong in Ravenclaw. Oh, and one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. But don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm... Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. She was the one that wrote that little paper in the beginning of the intro that I was reading. M it's quite uncommon it? M for a student to begin as a fifth year. Might be a bit of a challenge, but one I'm sure you're up for. I am, Professor. This is the entrance to the Ravenclaw common room. You must solve a riddle to enter. I won't be of much help, I'm afraid. This sort of thing has always confounded me. Riddles. Who lived longer? The ghost or the poltergeist? A ghost or a poltergeist? Hmm. A non-being can never have been. done. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. Oh, beautiful deer. We hunt for those. And I'm craving for meat. Down, 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 down. Why is my clothes look like dirty? Gone. Better head to the common room. Uh. 
Is there a chest I can loot? Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Hello? So wait, where does this door go? Oh, I can't open it. Alright. I'm supposed to go downstairs, but I want to go upstairs. Woo! Ooh. I heard these guys. Moving statues. Ooh. Awesome. I'm not sure this is the right spot. Oh, we talk to? Make a friend? I want him to be in the perfect place. A place he'll be happy with. But I can't seem to find it. Great golden gobstones! I want him to thrive here. Golden gobstones? <laughs> My own little expression. I bought this Dittany seedling from home and I so want him to feel cozy. Dittany is amazing, isn't it? So much healing power in such a little plant. <laughs> I've a bit of a thing for plants, as you can see. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. I'm Samantha. Nice to meet you, Samantha. Is Dittany used in Wiganwell potion? It is. Looks like someone's been studying up on their potion making. Actually, Professor Fig told me about the Wiganwell potion. Of course. I heard you were studying with him before term. He's an enigma, Fig. Teaches about theory, it seems to know a lot about practical magic. Huh. Yeah, he's quite knowledgeable. Professor Fig does know a great deal about, um, different forms of magic. Well, I hope he told you about more than Wig and Weld. You've lots to catch up on, I'm sure. Do most students grow their own ingredients? Is it common practice for students to grow their own ingredients? Oh, yes. In fact, our herbology teacher, Professor Garlic, encourages it. And I don't think Professor Sharp, our potions master, cares where you get your ingredients as long as your brews are all perfect. Cool. Well, that's all I gotta know. It was nice to meet you, Samantha. Good luck with your ditany. Thank you. And good luck to you too on your first day. Ain't gonna be a plant hater. Ain't gonna involve plants into our conversation. All of my siblings have finished at Hogwarts. Nice to be here on my own. I adore decorating the home. Deep breath. Ooh, another stranger. Why, hello. Would you like to take a look? What am I looking at? Can't see too much in the day. Well, except for stars like Sirius, Canopus, Vega, and Arcturus. I'm Amit. Pleasure to have you in Ravenclaw. Never met someone who's been so close to a dragon before. Can't say I'd recommend it, frankly. It's nice to meet you, Amit. I take it you like astronomy. Oh, yes. So much to be learned from the stars. Also, there's something about the open air and night sky above the tower. It's invigorating. You will adore astronomy. Professor Shaw is incredibly knowledgeable. Huh. I find the stars fascinating. I've never been one for a stargazing. I, I like to look at the stars at I hope astronomy is on my schedule. Sounds interesting. I have good news for you. You are most definitely taking astronomy. It is required for all fifth years. You will be enthralled with the tower. Plus, a quality telescope can show you things you never dreamed of. I suppose I'll see you in class then. Yes. Oh, and speaking of class, better get to my first one of the year. Nothing like the smell of fresh parchment, is there? Be seeing you. Man, it kind of looks like the guy doesn't even blink when he's talking to you. Or something like that. No, I just don't really pay attention to really to the eyes to uh, last moment. It looks like they're just like just staring at your right moment. What's this? I feel like going up more. Can I go up more? I hope it doesn't mess with the story mode. Ugh. 
Can I go in here? Whoa. I need a level two. And you can go in people's rooms? This is sick. Introduce yourself to Everett. Okay, I'll do that in a little bit. Ooh. Oh, level one. Hey, no. Dang. Wow, okay. Do, 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 do. All right, I'm out. So I need a level two and a one. <laughs> this should be interesting. One moment. Watch this. Ugh. What is this? It's someone threw a dumbbell. <laughs> That wasn't quite the reaction I wanted. Oh well. Right. What did you hope would happen? I suppose I hoped it would lighten the mood. Ravenclaws can be a bit on edge the first day of class. I'm Everett, by the way. You seem downright calm next to some of these characters. And you survived a rather harrowing trip here. Oh, you heard about that, huh? How does everyone all of a sudden know me? Do they just talk about the boy with the scar? Yeah. Cause I don't think there's so many people here that I'm pretty sure they all know my name. I'm looking forward to my first day. Mm, yeah, that sounds about right. Harrowing indeed. I'm still a bit on edge myself and a little nervous for classes to start. Oh, you needn't be worried. Truly, there's no reason to be nervous. Most professors are firm, but fair. I mean, not all of the tricks I play are as simple as a tossed dung bomb, and I'm still here. Wait, did you say most professors are firm, but fair? Ha, <laughs> I did. But probably best I let you judge for yourself. I do tend to push their limits. I should wander off before someone traces that dung bomb back to me. <laughs> nice meeting you. You too, Everett. Everett. Hey there, new Ravenclaw. Professor Weasley is looking for you just outside. You had best not keep her waiting. Professor Weasley? Professor. Trippy how that little blink indicator was uh, blinking. Okay, now it's not blinking. Oh, it only blinks when I look away. Does the statue move? Right. Hogwarts. Coming from the rear. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts. I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. I can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? 
Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Here you are. How does she do that without her wand? I think I opened it too soon. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Wow. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. Hmm. This way. Darn it. <laughs> Saw a statue of women in the background. to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding lore. I, I, clear it away, boy. This guy was hugging his book, getting close to me. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Why don't you cast Revelio on this bust and see what details the field guide can provide? Revelio? Is that the light or the Revelio? Oh, okay. Ravenclaw bust. Got the pages, the bust credit, and uh, honor of Ravenclaw's house resides over loyalty to Ravenclaw's tower. Eighty XP. You just unlocked a field guide challenge your progress towards completing challenges appears here. Field guides challenges are the only way to acquire experience points. Okay. Uh, this is your wizarding level XP earned from challenges increase your level and power. Field guides track the current challenges progress select the challenges make you continue. Okay. So this one? Whoa. Collecting your first guide pages unlock a new challenge category. New challenges unlocked your throughout your adventures will appear here. Okay. Each challenge has tiers, special rewards, unlocks at each tier you're complete for your appearances to critical upgrades. Rewards must be claimed from the challenges menu. Come back to the collect rewards you have unlocked it. Ah. Nice. Clever, isn't it? Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that, inside and outside of the castle. Inside and outside of the castle. Oh, what was that? No time to waste. You've classes to attend. Moving statue or a picture. I've forgotten about that already. Is that a platypus? Huh. Oh. There's something here though. 32 bucks. Alright, what's that? Roll? Wow. It's almost like a death sentence right there. You got 15 seconds to... Unicorn? Owl? Unicorn? 
Don't know what that means. Spider? I just wanna <laughs> figure that out. I don't know if that's how you do it or not, but at least I gave it a, a shot. Try to understand it, see how it works. Ah, good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use flu flames to get around a bit quicker. Your uh. field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Okay. You have discovered a flu flame fast travel point. You can now open the map anytime. Uh, okay. Wow. The astronomy wing, the bell tower wing, the grand staircase, the great hall, the library annex, the south wing. Hogwarts is divided by two main areas, left side is the map where the students and professor lives and includes the house common rooms and great hall. So I can't fast travel anywhere though. Yeah, there's like different. I think I passed two upstairs. Huh. Okay. Turn the map. Continue. Uh, select the. Uh, to continue. Professor Weasley has unlocked the central hall flat hall flu flames for you. Uh, okay. Central hall greenhouse library. Let's try a library. Can I go there? No? Oh, I think I gotta go to this one. Central Hall. Alright, it's good to know these things. And here we are. Quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. You can huh. get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. I can't wait till my sister's ready. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Hmm. Tell more about the charm. Class. What will I learn in charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes. All terribly useful. I think <laughs> you'll enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard. And a talented teacher. There's that one and then this one. You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. Butterbeer. 
What exactly is defense against the dark arts? Arden, that one really sounds obvious. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story Oof. than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. Hmm. There is, in fact. I'm afraid there isn't. I'm sorry, Professor, but I'm afraid that's all there is to it. Hmm. Almost precisely what Professor Fig said. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare... Aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember Jeez. to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. Talk to... It's always so exciting hmm. to see the owls come swooping into the Great Hall. I'll probably end it here. Then I'll come back. Ooh. And then I'll come back. And then I'll continue on with the story. A flying book. What on earth? Revelio. Hmm. Oh, these are magic spells I'm going to be unlocking. Where's that, uh, lockpicking one, or whatever it was? Reparo. Yeah. <laughs> I like that word. <laughs> Reparo. <laughs> oh, boy. Which one was it that, uh, no, it's not that one. It's not that one. It's the one that involves opening chest. It's all about level one and level two something. Valuable force damage 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 I'm trying to look for it that's block no that one's block what was this one stunt enemy oh I think it is how it cast whenever enemy chooses a target yeah I only know those those three Oh, is it this one? No. Essential magic. Oh, here we go. Whoa, look at that. So you gotta deliver that little green light to... From the looks of it, you gotta move it all the way down to the bottom. Yeah, to the bottom. 
to unlock it. Then it flies all crazy when you get it. For real? They're all ghosts. Pretty cool, especially when I get here. I am curious about this one though. Stuffy Essential. So I'm gonna save it here and uh, whoop, where am I? Here we go. Start from the top. Alright, nice. It's 2 p.m. over here, so yeah. Again, it's pretty interesting. It has like a, a trippy intro. We were being followed by someone and that person cast, I guess, some like a dragon or something after us, uh, after a while. And uh, this boy saw, he sees like glows on uh, certain people. It was like, he saw a blue light in a, I think a dark, glow light uh, I didn't, my eyes didn't see what it was when he was talking about that part but I'll probably see it when I'm editing the video and there was this dude who wanted something from something that me and him had it was either a key or information he wanted but he was pretty tough not only that but there was a um, the fight scenes too I learned on here with the weird um, stone knight there was that part and the crazy uh, um, that giant statue that came out of that uh, what was it base basin it was like something that he was talking about this boy that he picked up a, a little uh, potion bottle out of that giant knight that comes rising out and that was fighting those guys I was talking about that one. That was pretty cool to see. It was amazing. And we'll be seeing more amazing stuff on here as well. Um, so yeah. There might be some like edits from here on out too maybe. Like for my journey from A to B and I'll show like some some good stuff and you know whatever it is that's uh, entertaining to, to see on here. So yeah I'll do my best to uh, do whatever it is on here like what I did with my video or my movie reaction thing I'll be doing another one of those um, on a Monday yeah this coming Monday then I'll make a video on maybe on a Tuesday or Wednesday so yeah we'll see how it goes from there but yeah this is about it I'll see you all around take care have an awesome day where you guys are from drive safe be safe see y'all around